and we've played seven games in this session so this is the first game these are friendly games and when i say friendly that i'm treating these i'm the casual chess guy you know um, i'm just uh i just like playing the friendly games i just like it's not about the winning or anything like that um it is just about practicing having a look at the games see if i can enjoy the games more and um, see what little things i can work on if i'm wanting to improve a little bit in certain areas and playing against um, a stronger player um, does help and also being able to talk about the moves and talk about what's actually happening in the game so really it's just a case of definitely friendly matches and looking at how we get on with our subconscious mind not be not being fully activated in that sense just to see where we where what things potentially we could work on need to work on the last um evaluation we did was around the last tournament and that was basically overly respecting the opponent's um positions on the board and let's see what these games bring out and see where we we'll go from there so key lessons learned really from there it's just around about oops excuse me the correct capture of the pieces um i'm still okay with this maneuver here well not the queen move yep so it's still showing draw there at the minute let, let it catch up with itself it looks like it's not uh there we go right okay so the queen taking it's not dropped that badly but i think for mobility and protection taking with the knight probably is better it feels better now that I've, I've played it but it doesn't drop too majorly so it's not too much to lose any sleep over but for position like i am a position player actually goes up for us when the queen comes here so this is the next thing that we're going to look at so it's saying queen d3 so it's letting this pawn get taken because it's not going to have any hassles because it's going to get this pawn here simple queen move would have done the trick so let's not even think about doing the knight capture this time let's think okay even more simplified because we don't want the queen in front of the rook anyway so we could have just brought our queen here supporting the pawn because if they did take the pawn this time i'm sure there's options of coming here attacking the queen queen has to come off the line and we can go up and take the pawn here so something along those lines look how simple that was so it's just to remind myself of the simplicity of the of the task yep don't need to keep this here simple queen move it's pretty straightforward that's going to cause a, quite a bit of havoc very nice i like it but it's been mindful that when they're going for the b pawn it's not always sunny and rosy for them there's things that we can do simple things so we opened with e4 trusted e4 and just bearing in mind you know these friendly games it is about just relaxing my brain for me personally I'm not precious about the position on the board. I'm just throwing out there, just being freestyle, relaxing, and just having a look at what the opponent does and how they respond to my movements on the board as well. So they come and attack the knight, and basically all we're doing is looking at our basic responses to these um, types of attacks, types of positions that the opponent is putting in. We're not looking at doing anything extra or over the top. We're looking at analyzing how this higher rated player actually maneuvers around the board. What are their thought processes? Yep, how it, what's their strategies? So this is how I learn, you know, playing a stronger player, really look, knuckling down and analyzing, well, okay, let's just 
try and keep it as tight as possible in terms of our defense but let's try and make sure that we at least attempt to block off what the opponent is attempting to do so we develop the knight attacking the pawn and they simplify and just bring the knight out and attacking the pawn well supporting their pawn so nothing great or grandiose about it so we bring the bishop out x-ray and through to the queen all pretty straightforward stuff at this moment in time as we said we're just looking at bringing out a basic opening looking at how the opponent responds to this because they are a higher rated player we bring our bishop through just supporting the knight it's nice and simple so we're looking for these advantages that the opponent is going to try and um, obtain so we castle king safety and they simply attack our bishop so basically in a nutshell we're like thinking well this is very simple uh, it's very straightforward um all the while we're just thinking well how is it that they're going to break through and i want to see how they break through and then see if they get pawn up um improve their position how they do this and it's one of those things where it's um maybe it's a difficult thing to do you know but um, for me it's easy especially playing against them um, this opponent i played against this opponent many many for many years really um over the board um i like their style uh, personality is good you know character's good and yep just developing their pieces slowly but surely nothing standing out at the minute um fairly okay with the position so in my head i'm thinking just keep a basic strategy and let's learn from their movements at some point during the game there's going to be an advantage so we're just sitting waiting for that advantage just to learn and see how they actually do that so for now we're thinking it's very simple but do we bring the bishop back onto the mh4 or do we bring it back into the fold and make it act as a pawn on the e3 it was an e3 so options and choices but for now feeling fairly comfortable with the position so we eventually bring the bishop back and moving fairly quickly now they bring their rook across and we bring our rook across as well so it's almost not mirroring but i understand the principle of that movement of the rook and now they're supporting their pawn and it looks like their knight is going to be looking to move their f knight so that's why they're supporting the pawn so that seems pretty straightforward and we take this opportunity to think we're being a bit flash and um, attacking their bishop with our bishop but obviously they're not asleep so fair enough so it's not too detrimental the position at this moment in time but probably could have hung fire with that knight move didn't really need to rush that really but you know it didn't really hurt us but positionally i don't think it's the better position for us gauge bars okay with it there's no issues no problems with that at this moment and it's whether we take with the rook the queen or the knight so we take with the queen and we've mentioned this particular section right at the very beginning of the video so it's basically like a move order thing and basically protecting the um d pawn with the queen although that type of stuff um should have taken place really so this is where the difficulty came around where we basically ended up being a pawn down so that was the magic that they showed <clears throat> but it was easily rectified based on what we talked about at the beginning of the video so this was really the catalyst and the start of the process for the my opponent the higher rated opponent actually taking advantage of the game so that's what the key lessons learned in this particular game here as we said we're playing these games to learn from um the um higher rated player to take advantage of their skills and knowledge and hopefully prepare us quite nicely for the major section tournament coming up in a month's time so this is how we train this is how we learn it's not about the winning like i said before these are friendly games 
it's for, for me to analyze really how a higher rated opponent actually thinks, strategizes, plans, etc. And positions on the board. Key thing, they always go for the B pawn, you know, because it's a weakness. So attacking the B pawn, all we'll need to do now is just reframe our thought processes and just protect the B pawn before anything happens. Prevention is better than cure. And that's a key thing throughout the whole of these um, seven games is protect the B-palm. So you don't have to then go chasing your tail. So we've covered all of this aspect here. <clears throat> I mean, the knight's come down now, it's attacking the queen. So it's basically trying to win some sort of tempo back and not really trying to get the pawn back, but just trying to win a tempo, maybe trying to get the queen off or maybe trying to get another piece off the board. So the queen moves out of the way. That's uh, pretty straightforward. And again, attacking the queen. Simple stuff, simple chess, just wanting to see how they operate, how they deliver. So they do capture and we capture back. Maybe capturing with the rook might have been better, but at this moment in time, they're a pawn up anyway. Our pawn on the C is uh, not operating in the best way possible. So again, that's something to think about going forward in terms of looking after my pieces, making sure they're actually working together as a team these are all basic things that we've highlighted in previous videos from our own evaluations but it's nice to see how the higher rated player is operating and moving they're looking for the weaknesses looking for the weaknesses on the two pawns that are actually on the a and the c uh, with their knight jumping to the b4 so little things like that small incremental steps that they're making in order to improve their position on the board. This is how I learn. This is how I hopefully improve and can start playing better games in the major tournaments. This, is, this will be my second major tournament, as you've seen. If you've, I'll put a link in the de uh, description at the bottom um, showing the previous, our first ever major section tournament. And we'll be generating a realistic prediction again um not just yet but we'll be generating one based off of our learnings from these experiences we'll put in a realistic prediction because we hit the prediction last time so maybe we might hit the prediction next time so we thought we were going to be a bit clever attacking um attacking the, the knight thinking the knight was going to take the knight and then obviously then we would get the rook attacking the bishop because our bishop and the rook were on their bishop but that didn't pan out they found the magical pawn move to block off our bishop so again that's the thought process of a higher rated player you know um constantly thinking okay what's my position really like has have they really got something and in this occasion you say no we haven't so we can take and the take and we definitely don't like the position because the bishop is actually on the knight it's going to end up doubling our pawns at this point i don't think we should have traded the rooks not that it would have made much difference so at this point in time really um i know in my head it was like okay this is a little bit sticky now but let's see how they finish the game so the knight was always coming to attack one of these two pawns here on the a or the c so they're building it up quite nicely in terms of their attack. The rook is owning the file, the open file. Nice basic um, knowledge. The bishop's attacking the knight. It's going to end up doubling the pawn. So it's weakening for this end game. So there's more pluses for our opponent in this end game as we speak. So there's three key things that are really pointing against us. Four being as well, the fact that our king hasn't got any space. So there's the threats of back rank mates. I know our rook is on the back, but, you know, it's being held to ransom on the back. So 
So we're locked now just to see, well, what, what's the knight going to do? And they take the pawn, obviously, so simple potatoes. And we attack the knight. At this point, basically, I resigned. Just wanted to see the movement of the higher rated player, their strategies, their planning. So in essence, this is like a free, a free tutorial a free lesson playing against a high rated player and the seven games have all given me that extra bit of um what's the word now experience knowledge it's better than reading the book it's better than watching a video because i'm actually in it and i'm actually seeing it i'm actually feeling the power of the opponent and hopefully fingers crossed i can take this type of experience into the tournament so key lessons learned really from there was just around about, oops, excuse me. The correct capture of the pieces. Um, I'm still okay with this maneuver here. Well, not the queen move. Yep. So it's still showing draw there at the minute. Let, let it catch up with itself. It looks like it's not, uh, there we go right okay so the queen taking it's not dropped that badly but i think for mobility and protection taking with the knight probably is better it feels better now that i've, I've played it but it doesn't drop too majorly so it's not too much to lose any sleep over but for position like i am a position player actually goes up for us when the queen comes here so this is the next thing that we're going to look at so it's saying queen d3. So it's letting this pawn get taken because it's not going to have any hassles because it's going to get this pawn here. Simple queen move would have done the trick. So let's not even think about doing the knight capture this time. Let's think, okay, even more simplified because we don't want the queen in front of the rook anyway. So we could have just brought our queen here supporting the pawn because if they did take the pawn this time i'm sure there's options of coming here attacking the queen queen has to come off the line and we can go up and take the pawn here so something along those lines look how simple that was so it's just to remind myself of the simplicity of the of the task yep don't need to keep this here simple queen move it's pretty straightforward that's going to cause a, quite a bit of havoc very nice i like it but it's been mindful that when they're going for the b pawn it's not always sunny and rosy for them there's things that we can do simple things 